Did you know the human body has 78 organs? 27. The joints. Joints are the connections between bones in the body that allow for movement and flexibility. Joints can be classified into several different types based on their structure and function, including fibrous joints, cartilaginous joints, and synovial joints. 28. The liver. The liver is a large, reddish-brown organ located in the upper right part of the abdomen, just below the diaphragm. It is one of the most important organs in the body, and performs a wide range of vital functions. One of the liver's main functions is to filter and process blood from the digestive system. 29. The Lungs The lungs are a pair of spongy, air-filled organs located in the chest, on either side of the heart. Their primary function is to facilitate the exchange of gases between the body and the environment, by allowing the body to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. 30. The Larynx The larynx, commonly known as the voice box, is a part of the respiratory system located in the throat between the pharynx and the trachea. It plays a crucial role in producing sound and protecting the airway during breathing. 31. The ligaments. Ligaments are strong, flexible bands of connective tissue that connect bones to other bones, providing stability and support to joints. They are made up of bundles of collagen fibers and are able to withstand a great deal of tension, which allows them to hold bones together. 32. Lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are small, bean-shaped organs found throughout the body, particularly in the neck, armpits, groin, and abdomen. They are part of the lymphatic system, which is a network of vessels and organs that helps to remove waste and fluid from the body. 33. The large intestine. The large intestine, also known as the colon, is the last segment of the digestive system. It is a tube-like organ that begins at the end of the small intestine and ends at the anus. The main functions of the large intestine are to absorb water and to eliminate waste products from the body. 34. Lymphatic Vessel Lymphatic vessels are tube-like structures that form a network throughout the body and are part of the lymphatic system. They are responsible for transporting lymph, a clear fluid that contains immune cells, excess fluid, and waste products, from the body tissues back to the bloodstream. 35. The Mouth the mouth is a complex structure in the body that is responsible for several important functions. It is the beginning of the digestive system, where food enters the body and begins to be broken down by enzymes and other digestive juices. The mouth is also important for communication. 36. The Mesentery The mesentery is a fold of tissue that attaches the intestine to the abdominal wall and contains blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, and nerves that supply the intestine. The mesentery helps to support the small intestine and allows it to move and flex during digestion. 37. The Mammary Glands Mammary glands are specialized organs found in the breasts of female mammals. They are responsible for producing milk that is used to nourish and feed newborn offspring. The mammary glands are located on the chest wall, and they are composed of lobules and ducts that are surrounded by fatty tissue. 38. The Nose The nose is a prominent feature located in the center of the face and it serves as the primary organ for the sense of smell. The nose is also involved in the respiratory system, as it helps to filter warm and humidify the air that we breathe. 39. The Nails Nails are hard, protective structures that are found on the fingers and toes. They are composed of a tough protein called keratin which is also found in hair and the outer layer of skin. Nails are made up of several parts, including the nail plate, nail bed, nail matrix, and cuticle. 40. The Nerves Nerves are specialized cells in the body that transmit electrical signals between the brain, the spinal cord, and other parts of the body. They are part of the nervous system which controls and coordinates the functions of the body and allows us to respond to external stimuli. 41. Nasal Cavity The nasal cavity is a large, 
hollow space located behind the nose and above the mouth. It is divided into two halves by the nasal septum. A mucous membrane in the nasal cavity helps to trap and remove dust, dirt and other foreign particles from the air that we breathe. 42. The Ovaries The ovaries are the primary female reproductive organs that are responsible for the production and release of eggs for fertilization. They also produce hormones called estrogen and progesterone which regulate the menstrual cycle and prepare the body for pregnancy. 43. The Esophagus The esophagus, also known as the gullet, is a muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach. It is part of the digestive system and serves to transport food and liquids from the mouth to the stomach for further digestion and absorption. 44. The Penis The penis is the male external sexual organ used for sexual reproduction and urination. It is a cylindrical structure composed of spongy and erectile tissue. Its main function is to deliver sperm from the testes to the female reproductive system during sexual intercourse. 45. The pancreas. The pancreas is a glandular organ located in the abdomen. It is a crucial part of both the digestive and endocrine systems. It produces enzymes that aid in the digestion of food in the small intestines as well as hormones like insulin and glucagon that regulate blood sugar levels. 46. The pharynx. The pharynx is a muscular tube-like structure located behind the nose and mouth. It serves as a pathway for air and food, as well as a resonating chamber for the voice. The pharynx is divided into three regions, the nasopharynx, the oropharynx, and the laryngopharynx. 47. The placenta. The placenta is an organ that develops during pregnancy. It connects the developing fetus to the uterine wall, allowing the exchange of nutrients, oxygen and waste products between the mother and fetus. It protects the fetus from harmful substances in the mother's bloodstream. 48. The Prostate The prostate is located below the bladder and in front of the rectum in males. It is a walnut-sized gland that surrounds the urethra which carries urine and semen out of the body. It produces fluid that helps to nourish and protect the sperm and this fluid is mixed with sperm to form semen. 49. The Pineal Gland The pineal gland is a small endocrine gland located in the brain, between the two hemispheres. It secretes the hormone melatonin which regulates the sleep-wake cycle and other circadian rhythms in the body. Melatonin makes us feel sleepy and helps to regulate our sleep patterns. 50. The pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is a small pea-sized gland located at the base of the brain. It is also known as the master gland because it controls the functions of many other endocrine glands in the body. It is divided into two main parts, the anterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary. 51. Parathyroid glands. The parathyroid glands are four small endocrine glands located near the thyroid gland in the neck. The parathyroid glands are essential for maintaining proper calcium balance in the body which is important for healthy bones and teeth, muscle function, and nerve function. 52. The rectum. The rectum, the final part of the large intestine connects the colon to the anus. It is a temporary storage place for feces until they are eliminated from the body. The rectum and the muscles of the rectum and anus work together to control the release of feces during defecation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for part 3.